hi everyone welcome to our channel my name is mariam and today i'm going to tell you 11 things surprise me in poland i came from tanzania and i find here some things are surprise to me a bit shock and different compared to tanzanian life the first one is weather one thing i've learned when i came here is to be aware of the weather in a particular day and to check how many degrees outside before going anywhere this is important because sometimes it can be sunny day but it's super cold and weather here is very complicated sometimes it's raining then suddenly it's sunny and later could be even snow so this is very important here uh, to check how we look weather in a particular day another thing is about time change so last week they changed time and <laughs> we have one hour later this uh, it was a bit shock to me when i came here about time change and sometimes darkness comes at four and uh, sometimes sunrise comes at 8 in the morning so this was a bit shock to me and in the summer what i've uh, i've saw the darkness comes at 10 <laughs> and sunrise sometimes is at uh, at 4 <laughs> so this is a bit different uh, compared to tanzanian life and here i can say i've experienced all season of the year winter spring summer and autumn which in tanzania we don't have something like this another thing is about a beautiful city and building architecture here in poland i can say it's a very beautiful country they have very nice and beautiful city and building architecture i can say i like Gdansk, Wrocław, Kraków, uh, Warsaw, Zakopane. Oh my god, Zakopane is very beautiful. And I think their architecture is really beautiful. And this is, I can say, in Tanzania, we have also a beautiful city and a lot of tourist attraction and the architecture but here i find it more attractive and this made me say that poland is a very beautiful country to visit because of uh, what i see already and what i plan to see in the future another thing is traditional and homemade food here they like their traditional food for instance pierogi <laughs> and they like to make homemade food like cakes, uh, cucumber pickle, sometimes um, um, cabbage, sour cabbage. So this is so nice here. And there is a restaurant which is called Kachma. It's a lot of them around Poland. And there you have chance to test different kinds of traditional food. And I think it's very delicious they have very delicious food here and if you find a, a delicious food in one house it may taste the same the different so i don't know they have some like a same kind of taste <laughs> with their traditional food which is uh, different with tanzania in tanzania we have um, traditional food yes and we have uh, traditional foods according to our tribes <laughs> even though here they have uh, something which they prefer in the silesian which is different to another region but i can say it's almost the same according to me i saw some kind of tradition that they prepare chicken soup in sunday and cutlet I don't know if I am right, but uh, I have seen that it's uh, something like that. In Sunday, they like to make chicken soup and for lunch, they have cutlet and maybe with some kind of uh, potato dumping or any, <laughs> maybe it's 
how I see but it's like that. Another thing is transport. I found that here they have very nice transport. Let's talk about bus, trains. They, in the bus is clean and quiet. In the train the same. It's very clean and quiet and uh, with transport like bus and the train they have timetable which is followed and if they write that bus will come at this time and then bus arrive at that time exactly and the same with train so this is very different with tanzania i know we have bus we have trains but if i compare is quite different with poland and in the bus in tanzania i know <laughs> i know that it's uh, it's very hard sometimes you don't even know bus will come at what time when you enter in the bus sometimes it's noisy and in the train is also like that is there is no proper timetable for bus and train which here in poland there is proper timetable for bus and train and they follow it another thing in the on the road they have uh, something to press in the zebra cross they have something to press there wait you wait for the light when it's green light then you pass but not all places they have something like that but sometimes you can find it there and you don't have to pass before pressing that thing and waiting for the light so this is very surprising for me compared to Tanzania another thing here they are religious so sometimes you can see people walking uh, to the mass in the morning or in the evening they are going there to pray and in like in the Easter or um, Christmas they decorating their house follow, following the rules of religion and the celebration is so big and another thing I saw they put cross in the mountain on the top of the mountain they put cross <laughs> I got the story behind the cross but I I'm not sure if I should stay here <laughs> in Tanzania we have many religion and there is no religion which must be followed by the citizen and there is no religion which is more powerful than others so there it's normal i think and i never saw cross in the mountain when i came here first time in poland i received water with gas that thing not test good at all <laughs> even if it's water but oh my god not test good so i was not aware that they have water with gas or without gas what voda gazovana and voda nie gazovana so i just requesting for water and i have i receive water with gas which test horrible for me i can say i never drink water with gas in tanzania so it was first time for me and so in the shop they write if it is water with gas or water without gas and when I start stay here I knew what I prefer and I can say for me is water without gas it's good for me <laughs> about alcohol they have here um, Polish vodka which is very strong <laughs> and uh, sometimes they recommend you to test it or when you visit a, like a Polish family sometimes if they drink they like drinking vodka then they will recommend you to test their own Polish vodka and in the village is the same when you go to the village and visit a family they give you vodka and it's like a, they they have that some kind of challenge of drinking that vodka <laughs> and it's so it's different uh, with tanzania and i find it very surprising for me and they have their restriction according to alcohol here when you go buy alcohol and you're not adult 
they request for ID so you need to show ID to prove that you're adult so you can buy alcohol and some shops a machine cannot uh, accept or allow you to finish paying if you not show ID when you buy alcohol another thing is closing shop in Sunday and it's not only shop but also the mall uh, so this is a bit different with Tanzania because in Tanzania in Sunday they can close shop for instance uh, from morning till 1 or from morning till 10 depends uh, someone attend mass at what time or went to the mass at what time so they will open later after mass uh, shops I know here some rules change uh, and you can find shops are open in Sunday like in the supermarket are open in Sunday but uh, here I can say clo uh, they close shop in Sunday shops and mall but there is one shop which is open <laughs> and it is called Jabka so Jabka is uh, live server in Sunday <laughs> But I think if you live here um, many years and you have experience of living here, you just buy your stuffs, your grocery and everything and you have everything in home so you don't have to go looking for something in Sunday. Instead, you just spend time with family or relatives and you don't have to worry about going to the shops. In Poland, they have Names Day. I see this is different according to Tanzania. We have a names day and here names day is written in the calendar and it's easy to surprise somebody in his or her names day. And sometimes here people take serious names day than birthday, which is quite interesting. Another point which I have is in Poland, it's very easy crossing to any European Union country without too many restrictions. I can say that my husband made a joke with me when we went to Czech Republic. He told me that we are close to Czech Republic so prepare your passport <laughs> and, then, and then he was laughing on me. So later he just uh, explained to me that uh, no i was you know i was just laughing on you but you see there is poland and there is czech republic <laughs> so this was very shock to me and i can say yes with uh, the jokes it was more funny <laughs> for me another thing here um, in poland is very easy to go to czech republic Slovakia, German, Austria, without many restrictions, I can say. So you just enter to a new country and without any restriction crossing the border and very easy going by train or even by bus. From here I can go with bus to Czech Republic or to um, Slovakia and I just adding another country uh, with Tanzania uh, crossing the border to another country is sometimes not so easy you need to show passports you know a lot of restrictions another thing is a lot of playground for kids and outdoor gym I saw here they have a lot of playground for kids a lot of things for kids to play in the playground and they have also outdoor gym which they don't have a lot of things but it's quite enough to make exercise and normally they have playground for kids then a place for outdoor gym but not in all place you can find outdoor gym but playground is necessary and this is different with Tanzania because I never saw playground for kids like even after one or two kilometers finding a playground for kids so this was very surprised to me when I came here and when I saw also outdoor gym which was very uh, surprised for me <laughs> and I can say it's very nice here it's 
I can take Ignas to the playground anytime and it's for free. There is no entry fee and outdoor gym you can make their exercise anytime you want. The last thing is the stair. I find here that people staring a lot to black people. I think it's because there is not a lot of black people around and when they look at me sometimes they say oh you're very beautiful you have a beautiful smile oh, you have nice teeth <laughs> you have uh, nice hair you got a very beautiful child so they tell me these things but there is opposite way that is uh, a hate nice and uh, somebody just throwing out saliva when just look at me and then throwing out saliva like <laughs> others they uh, just shouting oh mojinek mojinek and others they have a not friendly facial expression just looking and you can tell that somebody got a hate of, by the facial expression so this happened a lot i experienced a lot i remember in zakopane uh, the baby was crying just look at me and then was crying to mama mojinek <laughs> mojinek i don't want to see mojinek so it was quite interesting for me and this is also happened in Tanzania there we call them Muzungu <laughs> and there is also staring on Muzungu and sometimes uh, people give them compliment people like them a lot you know it's <laughs> this one is uh, I think the same in Tanzania and here in Poland. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one.